Hi everyone, I am feeling so excited because out of the four new launches, they're going to review the Miss Grand Dunman Pie Tree Hill and Lentor Hills Residences. I am going to do the first one, Lentor Hills Residences Review. And because it's so far... Finally, we have reached Lentor. Not this Lentor, la. it's this one. Ah, let's check it out. Do like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will show you whether is this my number one new launch. Let's go! This is Lentor Hughes Residences by Coco Land. If Coco Land play Monopoly in Lentor, confirm they are the winner. This project has a total of 598 units and they were TOP in 2026. Lentor Modern's TOP is also around 2026. That means if you buy Lentor Hughes Residences and you can go to Lentor's Modern Supermarket to buy your groceries law. If Lentor Modern Supermarket haven't opened, you eat grass first lah because they got a huge patch of grass for everyone to eat lah. Now let's recap how much they bought the land for. Ah, you can see the land ah. You, you see so many grass patch ah, got grass to eat lah oh. Anyway, they bought the land 6.3% higher than second bidder. Anything below 10% is considered a healthy competition and they bought the land for 1060 per square feet per plot ratio 15% profit margin that the developer should make they should be selling around 1865 per square feet not to forget today is still a seller's market they should be selling 2000 per square feet if they have a good heart ah, ah, 1009 per square feet is considered a very good price so let's hope they give chance ah, because for lentor modern so anyway, Lentor Modern is in the past, so let's hope this new one, they will give a better price for everyone to be a giant Huawei three years later. And let's talk about the location. And you all know I like Orchard. I always go Orchard because the vibes there are so uplifting. So how many MRT stops will you need to take to Orchard MRT station? Lentor Hills Residences at Lentor, you will take nine stations, about 20 minutes to your Orchard, which cost like 4,000 per square feet in Orchard. So for 2,000 per square feet is actually the market rate for an OCR project today. So what can you buy in nine stations away from Orchard using North-South MRT, which is the red line. So Orchard, you take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, Yishun. Most people like to choose stun in that area. Buying Lentor is like Macham buying Yishun. So how about the blue line? If we take to Newton, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It will be Hillview. The means leh. From Cashew, you need to take nine station to Newton Interchange to transit. Then if you miss it, leh, then you will need to wait and take one more station to Orchard Law. Uh, so which one is better? Don't miss my The Miss Condo Review Law. Lentor Hills Residences is located here. And you can see there's a lot of GLS there. Lah, oh. So before this was sold, you have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it oversupply? I think so lah. Those people who say no are uh, their agents or ah ha ha. It's a joke lah. Uh, you can also ask me, Eric, is there any oversupply area that also make money man? Ah, uh, then I give you one good example. Tanamera is a place that I don't like because there are also like 10, 11 condos. But however, the latest new launch, Grandio Park Residences, they also make money. Zero unprofitable transactions if I'm not wrong now. So the main thing, Eric, can we make money from Lentor Hughes Residences? Eric, will we be Huawei after buying Lentor Hughes Residences? Ah, I'll share with you shortly. And if you watch my Lentor Moderns review, I did share with everyone that if you really, really want to buy in Lentor, you should wait for this plot, which is Lentor Hughes Residences, for one reason only. But Lentor Modern got 1,600 checks, eh, which means that they oversubscribed by 2.6 times. Eh. That kwa zhang, eh, no? Singaporean super rich. Ah. Goko Land sold. 84% of Lentor Modern. This is really a success launch by the developer. So this one really must clap for them. Uh, because the show flat, super nice. Yeah. I clap for developer, doesn't mean I clap for buyers. Leh. Bye. Okay. Put, put, put. I put you in the video. Huh?
Wow. Later, I'll show you the price Lentor Modern buyers bought at. Overview, Lentor Modern launched September 2022, sold 84%. This is the next new launch, which is Lentor Hills Residences. These two plots of land sold in Sept 2022. And then recently in April, we have a shocking news. This plot was sold at 980 per square feet. And then lastly, this is in the reserve list. This is the site plan. Everyone, what's the first thing I see in the show flap? It is tennis court. All right. It looks like a Chinese character. It looks like pa. For those people who don't know Chinese one, uh, learn this is pa. Pa means hua in Chinese. Hua kui, fa gao. My name is Zhou Fa Gao. Hua kui. Learn how to write. Pie na. I'm going to teach you a very important lesson about pie na later. And it's good like shelter walkway all the way to your lento modern which is attached with MRT and supermarket la. I saw this on master plan. I, it looks nice. This is lento modern. This is the Lentor Central, which is sold at 1108 per square feet. This is Lentor Hughes Residences. This is Lentor Gardens, they sold 980 per square feet. This is the smallest project in Lentor. Now let's look at unit mix. Total 598 units. I assume people who buy one, two bathers are for investment. And we have around 49% of them. Three and four bathers consist of about 51%. It's a very good mix. So you can tell that developer built this not just for investment base, but it's also family oriented. Lah. Next, very fun one. I'll show you the floor plan and let's see whether developer got any how built the balcony big B or is it oversized. And I will also share with you the indicative price. Let's see one by one. What lao way? Why never put size one? Put 1A, one type 1A, one then how I know the size? So like that, how to tell how, what's the size? You never put. Then like that, how to check? One by one meh. Where got time sia? Hey, developer, do better leh. Ay, because of that lah. I need to check one by one. Uh. Never mind. Hang uh, Eric got passion. Uh. Okay, this is one beta, 452 square feet. 452, okay, very good size. Starting from 941,000, my estimated average 980,000. 2170 per square feet. Thinking about one beta below 1 million today, you still got MRT nice station to Orchard. Uh. Quite rare already. Uh, oh. Now, two bed, one bath. They don't have two bed, one bath. Leh. Ah, this developer got standard. And the two-way two bath, perfect size. Sweet size. Six, seven, eight square feet. A good size for two-way two bath. Six, seven, eight, six, eight, nine, seven hundred. That's maximum already. If you go anything higher, every 50 square feet lah, is 100,000 difference in OCR. Every 50 square feet difference in city fringe is 120,000 more. You come in straight away to the kitchen, there is no long walkway. Some long walkway, you already cost 50 to 100,000 already. You have a king, queen, very decent layout. Starting from 1.356 million, my average 1.4 million, 2,065 per square feet. Not bad. I like. Suddenly, I want to gapo. Uh. How much Lentor Modern buyers bought? They are two bed, two bath at. Lentor Modern, first day of launch, you can see that 678 square feet was sold 2,000 per square feet, which is around 1.38 to 1.4 million as well. Then like that, uh, Lentor Modern quite cheap. Eh. I don't believe it. Eh. So I go and deep. Uh, I want to see the floor plan. 678 square feet is only two bed, one bath. They have a long walkway. They only got one toilet. And they have this study area. Now I know why it's so cheap la. Should build toilet ma. Because people spend more time in toilet than the study area. People sit at the study room ma. Sleep already la. But toilet la. You can play phone, chit chat with your friend, play game. After 2-3 hours, you can still continue sit there. And you can also enlighten at the same time. How good right? And I continue to research ah. There are 2 bed, 2 bath, 732 square feet ah. It's actually 2 bed, 2 bath plus study. I mean, based on my limited time on doing research, Lentor Modern don't have 2 bed, 2 bath. To exit next time to people who only wants to buy 2 bed, 2 bath. Only Lentor Hills residences lah. Next, 2 plus study, 753 square feet. Usually 2 plus study, 734, 753, 775. Around there. Anything bigger is waste money. La, oh. So you straight away come in, you have your kitchen, you don't have your long walkway, and come in, you have your king, queen, study. I don't have the starting price for this, so I average 1.55 million, 2,060 per square feet. Hopefully, the 3 bed, 2 bath size is good. La. A good 3 bed, 2 bath, 883, 893, 915, 936. Anything bigger, 
expensive lor. 958 square feet. Okay lah, you pay slightly a bit more lah. And very good, this one can walk here because you have the window here. Starting from 1.822 million, my average 1.9 million, 1,985 per square feet. Ooh, not bad ho. If they really sell below 2,000 for their 3 bed, 2 bath, Attractive lah. 3 bed, 3 bath is the one with the third toilet and storeroom. The very good layout that I've seen so far is Panorama, 990 square feet, 1012, 1023, 1033, 1044, 1055 square feet tight. This case, we have 1098. <sighs> Why build so big? Then I realized, ah, you have a small walkway here, lor. So if you minus hit this away, it should be around 1055. Ah, very good. This one can walk, hey. I don't have the starting price for this. So my average, 2.18 million, 1,990 per square feet. Below 2,000 per square feet is very decent, lah. Next, we have three bedroom dual key, which is rare, which is also very good for people, small family, young couples who want to stay in the two, rent out the one. Uh, so that your tenant can more or less pay the interest for the mortgage that means you stay for free lah. the smallest dual key size is around like 958 square feet a better one should be 1152 square feet but for this case 1302 square feet you can buy four beta already there ah you can rent out this and you can stay here lah. and starting from 2.64 million Wow. Average 2.75 million, 2,110 per square feet. Next, 4 bed, 4 bath. A good size, 1,270. Bigger size, I see like 1,313, 1,345, 1,355, 1,335. Something like that. Lah. Up, not too bad. 1,345 square feet. Starting from 2.53 million. Average 2.7 million, 2,010 per square feet. Not bad, not bad. Lastly, we have 4 bedroom dual key. 1,399 square feet. I don't have the starting from. So my average, 2.95 million, 2,110 per square feet. Guys, if you remember what I shared in Lentor Modern's review, I told everyone, instead of buying mixed development and you pay a premium for it, you can wait for the next new launch, which is this one, Lentor Hughes Residences, for one reason. This one got one kilometer to CHIJ St. Nicholas. So looking at the fact sheet, you can see that education, Anderson Primary within one kilometer. CHIJ, to be confirmed leh. A lot of agents ask me eh, is it within one kilometer or not? Is it within one kilometer a lot? As if I MOE minister like that. Then I realized ah, being agents, they cannot tell buyers confirm got one kilometer to CHIJ St. Nicholas. So they tell me, Erika, you tell everyone got one kilometer leh. Instead of telling everyone bluntly got one kilometer, let me show you my magic circle. CHIJ St. Nick's is here with my one kilometer circle. You can see, zoom in here. You can see my ages is quite exact already. Ah. Let's zoom in more. I zoom in until like that. Ah. Half-hearted already eh. Never mind. Put in the side plan. Wow. Then you can see ah, this stretch ah, may not have. This one also may not have. So the only one that has one kilometer is this one. This, 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 this. I just remember PPP pay, 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 pay can buy. Nah, 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 cannot buy. Understand? Okay, so now, will this project make you a big huakui ah? Let's put in the angle of buying because of the school. If you look at the URA master plan again, you can see that out of the many Lentor plots, only one, two, three plots has one kilometer to CHIG St. Nicholas. I favor Lentor huge residences most because it's nearest to the MRT and the supermarket at Lentor Modern. Whereas this plot is a small plot, you know I don't like small project, so ignore that one. Lentor Gardens, although they sold 980 per square feet, which is low price, but is further away from MRT station. Lentor Hills Residences is the only one I like in the entire Lentor. With the angle of the school, what are other good projects that I can use it to compare? Anyone who tell me they want their kids to go into the one kilometer CHIJ St. Nicholas, I only recommend two projects. The first one will, will be Amo, which is my number one new launch, don't know which year. And number two, Panorama, which is a six year old project. Now let's look at Panorama prices. Panorama, six years old, 700 units. Good project, all make money, zero unprofitable. 1001, 101, 1012 are their three beta. And you can see that they transact like 
1850-2000 per square feet already. Guys, let me show you some light ah, in the tunnel. Ah. Panorama is already 6 years old. By the time Lentor Hills Residences POP in 2026, Panorama will be already 9 years old. So by right, the gap is around 450 per square feet. Panorama being 9 years old is already 1,009 to 2,000 per square feet. So if Lentor Hills is selling at 2,000 per square feet, in today's market, seller's market, you can still buy beside MRT, enjoy the facility at Lentor Modern without paying a mixed development price below 2000 or even 2000 per square feet. Guys, it is decent. La. I need to give some justice to Lentor also. Ma. So this is the only site that I support. Or maybe one more no? Lentor Gardens because that one also got one kilometer to CHIJ, but that one further away from MRT station. Let's summarize. For location, I like the school because with school, it's evergreen factor that you can exit to people who need CHIJ St. Nicholas. Ah. And it's sheltered walkway all the way to your MRT station, which is so near just beside you. And you can enjoy the mixed development facilities. You have a 10,000 square feet of supermarket at Lentor Modern, which you can also enjoy. So for that, I'll give a seven. Launch pricing with the angle of the school, Panorama already selling at 1,009, 2,000 per square feet. If this brand new, 1,000, 9 to 2,000 per, per square feet is very decent price. I'll give 7.5. The good thing, the school is evergreen. Hopefully not like ACS, suddenly you buy already, government move your CHI St. Nicholas to Tuas, ah, ah, then everyone cry. Lah. But if this don't happen, you always have the evergreen factor. People will buy into this project for their kids' education. And based on price point, I believe you can still make decent profits. So my exit strategy, 6.5. Overall service score, 7 stars. So everyone, let's have some fun again. What is the estimated sold on launch day? Ah, ah, come, come, come. Hey, Lentor Modern, I'm correct, ma. I guess 85% and they sold 84%. And now, I will be guessing they will be selling 80% and my wife, 65%. So for those of you who wants to know more, make sure your loan is done properly. Uh, you want to get ready. You can contact this number, 8606-0670 and pray hard. Launch day, they sell at a good price. For those people who cannot make it for this new launch, don't worry, there are upcoming very good opportunities. So don't rush if you are not ready. And I hope that this review helps you in making good decisions in planning your property journey. I have more upcoming reviews to show you. Thank you. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in my next video.